So as a video editor and person who likes to make video tutorials every now and then, I've been looking for a long time for a piece of screen capture software that's capable of recording multiple screens. Like I work with Premiere and I've got all this stuff over here on screen number one, all these bins, and over here on screen number three, I have, well, usually actually a lot more bins, but there's the scopes, there's lots of other stuff. Anyway, the point is I wanna be able to show my screens as the mouse goes to it. Now, I finally learned that OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, actually has, if you download a plugin, the ability to do this. This plugin may or may not be included in the current version of the software, but anyway, I just went here. It's called Simple Scene Switcher. It requires just a little bit of information from you in order to do its magic. So I'm going to create the whole thing for you right here. First of all, you need to create a new scene. Uh, I'm just going to create one that's... Uh, S1 for scene one, say okay. I'm gonna add a source, and the source uh, I think is display capture, yes. Uh, I'm gonna call it monitor one, uh, make source visible, yes. Here we go, capture cursor, yes. I want it to be display one, that's fine. I'm going to create another scene as well, let's call it S2, and let's add a source for that one, display capture, uh, let's call it monitor two. And let's have that be display, yes, display zero, which is the center display. And let's make another one again, S3, and add display capture monitor tres. And that will be display this one. Oh, you can see it's uh, differently scaled, and I'll tell you why. Uh, this one actually is, it has a different UI scaling. You can see this one's at 100%, these ones are at 150% each. And that's because these are both 4K monitors, and this one is not. But anyway, so for scene three, I'm just gonna expand this. Uh, is that gonna snap or what? There we go, okay. I guess I can put the black on one side or the other. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Now I could add other stuff to this, but there's really no reason. Literally each scene is just a monitor. Okay, so now that we have our scenes set up, we can add the scene switching behavior. So for that, I just go to scene number one, and then you right click in the sources window. By the way, this is my uh, mouse click visualizer that I programmed with auto hotkey. Uh, so left click, up, down, scroll, and right click. So anyway, you right click, you go to add, you go to this option here. Again, if you don't have this, you'll need the plugin. Uh, let's call it something like tres monitors, lol. So this is currently empty. All you gotta do is go here to the plus button and this is where you type stuff in. So first of all, you need to know what your coordinates are of your monitor and I don't know how you're supposed to do this. You can Google around and there's a lot of various programs that say they'll find your screen coordinates for you but I don't really trust any of them. Anyway, I'm just gonna use AutoHotKey because it comes with something called Window Spy. So just go to autohotkey.com, download that thing, install it, uh, express or custom, whatever, doesn't matter and then hit Windows key and type in Window Spy. Just run that program and it will tell you the coordinates and names and lots of other cool information about various windows and things, but all you want is the absolute coordinates that you can see right here. So if I go all the way up here in the left-hand corner, that's the coordinate it wants first, you see that it's zero comma zero. Okay, that's good. Now we go all the way down to the bottom right-hand corner and you see that it is 4095 by 2159. Okay, I'm going to hit Windows key A. As you can see down here, it freezes the display. So now I have these uh, coordinates and they're not gonna change even though I'm moving my cursor around. So now we go back to OBS and here's what we type in. Very simple, well, relatively speaking. A uh, little thingy, I don't know what that's called, the little arrowy looking thing. Zero X zero, so that's the first set of coordinates and then a dot to separate, and I'm just gonna paste, and this is uh, formatted wrong, so it needs to be an X instead of a comma with no spaces. And then you put another uh, arrowy looking thing. I, I can't believe I don't know what that uh, thing is called. Comma, and then the name of the scene, which in my case is S2. Say okay. All right, ah, look, it just switched from scene one to scene two because my cursor is on scene two. I'm gonna go to scene three. Oh, oh no, it keeps switching it to scene number two because my cursor's here. Okay, so here's the, the fun part is we're gonna add the other ones. Now, what's annoying is that the coordinates are not quite what you would think. Here I am on the first monitor. Um, you can see if I move my mouse cursor all the way up to here to the top, 
If you look back over at Windows Spy, I have the coordinates negative 6144 and 0. Okay, so I'm going to freeze that and then write those down, copy, put those in notepad, and paste. I'm also going to go down into this corner down here, and you can see, based on Windows Spy, that those coordinates are negative 2049 and 2159. Okay, so these are the coordinates of the monitor number one, or the leftmost monitor. Now, the tricky part is, those are not actually the best coordinates to enter. I'm going to enter them, and you're going to see what happens. Make a new one. I'm going to use the old format here. So, what were our coordinates? They were negative 6144 by 0. There's a period separating them. Negative 2049 by 2159. And that is for scene number 1. Okay, good. Say OK. OK. All right, now they should work. Let's take a look. Is it working? Aha! OK. Here I am in monitor number 1. Let's move over here. Ah, oh, look at that. Here I am in monitor number two. Let's move back to one. Uh-oh. I have to actually move to the center. You see that? I was over here. I have to move all the way over here and beyond in order to get it to switch the scene. I, I can move back all right. But if I move this way, I have to get all the way to the middle before it switches over. And that's bad, but there is a solution. I don't want to use, right down here, you don't want to use the coordinates down here. What you actually want to do is uh, you want to go over to monitor number two and go to these coordinates down here. Okay, so according to Windows Spy, it is 0 and then 2159. Notice there are 2049 pixels between monitors one and two. See here, it looks as though there's no space between them, but actually, like this is way over here. Like as far as the computer's concerned, that's how it has it mapped out, is that big gulf between them. So you just have to know about that. So you go to OBS and change it. So instead of negative 2049, just take that and turn it into a zero. Boom. Let's say OK. Let's see it switch. There we go. Straight away, it switches back. Well, mostly straight away. I'm going to go back to monitor two, monitor one, monitor two. So it's much more happy with those coordinates. That's awesome. Now let's add monitor number three, this one over here. I'm going to go to the top left of that monitor, some cray-cray coordinates right here. Let's copy that and put that into my notepad. And let's go grab the uh, bottom right. Alrighty, so go back into OBS. Okay, so let's create a new one. Okay, so using the same syntax, what I want is a little arrow thingy. Uh, yeah, 6144 by 1614 and 9023 by 3233. That's the whole thing. Comma, scene 3. So there's that. Let's see if it works. Go over here. I don't think you're working. So the issue here is that these two coordinates here of the top left point, these are like huge numbers. And really, you should be going not from here, but you should be going from up here on this monitor. And these coordinates are, as you can see, 4095 by 0. So that's what I'm going to change this to. 4095 by 0. Let's say OK. Let's try this again. Ah, hey, that works a lot better. Hey, that's, that's working. I think, we, I think we got it. So scene uh, 1, scene 2, and scene 3. Awesome, we did it. The, the variables that really matter are going to be the x variables. So here and here. Like, that's the division you want. It's a switch to monitor 1 if it's here or beyond. You want it to switch to monitor 3 if it's here or beyond. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when I add a fourth monitor up here, but I'll just have to keep messing with the uh, coordinate values to see what happens. Now, there's one more thing you could potentially do, which is to make a scene transition. So if you wanted, you could have it fade between. However, this is a terrible idea, and I'll tell you why. Because of the way that bitrate works, if you do this, you're using a lot of bits. And if someone is watching your video on like a lower resolution, which probably has a lower bitrate, every time it fades, it's going to just pixelize the crap out of everything. A straight cut is much better for the sake of saving bits. And also, during a fade, you know, the screen is all muddled and you can't even see anything anyway. So a cut is better. However, I was thinking maybe I could use like a, a, a push. Let's try slide. Let's try that direction right 
And let's go over here. Ah, see? Oh, it looks now I'm on the leftmost monitor. The trouble is if I go back to the middle monitor, ah, uh, it doesn't it doesn't work that way, right? Cuz what this is is you're looking over to the left. Oh, I'm on this monitor now. But if I go back, I can't have it go from right to left. It only ever goes the same direction. Right? So it only works going left with your cursor, which is stupid. So anyway, that's why I just have it go do a straight cut. Now I posted on the OBS forums to see if there was a way to use certain transitions depending upon what scene you're going to and from. There is not, at least not at the moment. So hopefully they'll add that functionality in eventually. But for the time being, I'm just gonna use straight cut. And anyway, it's wise not to mess with stupid transitions anyway for a tutorial, because again, it's mostly just a waste of time and it's a waste of bits, and um, there's already too much of a delay in the first place. So, anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, I hope this didn't take too long for me to explain. By the way, I um, all of the code that I use for my uh, auto hotkey stuff, all these little scripts down here, are all available from GitHub. I have lots of cool stuff like the cursor visualizer that you saw here. I also have um, a visualizer for the keys that I'm pressing where it'll actually show you what the key is and also what it does. So that's really nice. That's going to be part of my tutorial. If you want to do a fancy pants tutorial, I think that's pretty much the way to go. Like you need to show people the key that you're actually pressing and what it does rather than just telling them. And if it's automatic, then that's so much more useful. Like you can see all these different things. I've got uh, like, what is, what is control S do? Obviously that's save, right? Um, oh, what have, what have I gotten myself into? Uh, and then there's more obscure ones like create new video keyframe or go to the next or previous keyframe. And we've got like, what is control Q? Oh, yeah, I guess that's exit. Uh, well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.